Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how you can quickly refurbish or uh, renovate or I don't know how to call it, uh, some brake calipers. You can buy these uh, brake calipers uh, repair kits uh, from uh, eBay or from your local uh, store. Uh, and then uh, you can just uh, do this job in, uh, let's say, half an hour or, or, or something like that. Uh, it will take a little bit more to take them out of the car and put them back, but to just uh, refurbish them or repair them, it doesn't take so long. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how you do this on a brake uh, caliper from a BMW 5 Series E39. So here, here we have the two uh, brake calipers from the E39. They look something like like this when you take them out. Here is the uh, brake line pressure hose that's uh, coming in here. I took them out and uh, now we are going to uh, have to uh, replace the uh, o-rings or uh, gaskets inside the, the piston here mm, and uh, the rubber this rubber, uh, this rubber that holds the, the glider, or what uh, what is this called? And this, you can see they are dirty and maybe have some scratches or, or something. We will see this uh, when we, uh, we take it out. Now, uh, what you need for this, uh, this job are just a few simple tools like uh, maybe a flat screwdriver some very uh, fine uh, uh, sandpaper um, and uh, I would recommend uh, uh, brush uh, metal brush to clean the surface uh, as, as you have it outside out of the car and you have it on the table just clean everything and uh, if you want, you can also paint them uh, while you have it on, on the table uh, and then uh, put the, the back the, the gaskets and, and everything. First, the first kit I bought uh, was specified to be from an, for an E39. And with this kit, I got this uh, uh, material which will help me clean the, the pistons inside. Uh, I got the seals, the rubbers for the gliders, or what is called, the end caps to put the back, and uh, I got some uh, silicone based grease. Um, the problem is though this kit I bought, it doesn't fit. <clears throat> um, it has uh, the outer uh, part, it's with a metal ring and this one you are not able to to put it in uh, this seems to be for uh, some other car even if the seller specified uh, it should fit to e39 it doesn't um, I think it fits some Renault or, or something like that but it doesn't fit uh, the, the e39 kits I bought before uh, came from uh, Autofren and they have the part number D4394 and they say they are 60 millimeters in diameter the brakes I have on the car are 60 millimeters but this kit does not fit so D4394 from uh, Autofren it will not fit to your E39 don't buy this then then I purchased another kit from ERT and this kit, it's a repair kit for 01355, uh, made in Spain. And this kit will fit your E39. So let's see what we got inside the kit. We got the, the seal for the rubber sealing for, for the outside. It's elastic, no metal ring, no nothing. This will fit. We got the piston. The two rubbers for uh, for the gliders, for the part that it, it will slide. 
the ring inside the piston, the cylinder, the silicone based uh, grease, the bleeder nipple, this is the nipple for the bleeder, and the end cap. So this one it's complete kit. Uh, I have even got two caps here and the rubber that comes on the nipple. So this is a complete kit. Okay, put everything back. Now the hard part for this is to take out the piston from the, 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 the brake caliper. You can uh, try a few methods. This will just come off after you take the, the piston out. One of them I, I already took out, uh, so it's moving a little bit better. Ah, no way. So, in order to do this, you have uh, a few possibilities. Uh, I will try the less dangerous one. Uh, for this, you will need some uh, compressed air. Uh, I have a compressor, and this it's making my uh, my heart. My, my, my life uh, much more easier. So with some compressed air I will put it here and just you can see and it's out. This is the, the old one. Let's take a look at it. I will clean it up a little bit. So now it's nice and clean, but you can still see here maybe you can see a little bit it's it's it has small scratches it's beginning to to rust so if i have a new one i will uh, change that too no problem um, let's see if if the one in the kit will fit yes seems to be the same diameter this it's a perfect fit uh, now let's take out the gasket, the, the, the outer seal. You can see this is very became very big. Why? Because uh, somebody put uh, probably or for sure some uh, um, oil spray or or some kind of lubricant um, or something to lubricate the the, the the piston, and it used something that's not silicone based. And if the oil or whatever um, he put inside it's not silicone based, this will uh, begin to, to get bigger and bigger and then you'll have something like like, uh, like this one here. Now you need the, the small flat screwdriver. So with the small flat screwdriver we are going to take this out. Very easy, you know, just put it under. Uh, it's hard to see, yeah, but you get my idea, you know, put it under and just take it out, the old uh, rubber seal. And this is it. Just to make uh, an idea on what is inside here. You can see the surface, you can see where the, the casket sits here. And this is the, the place where the outer casket uh, will, will, will sit. So we have to clean this part inside very good, clean this one very good, put the rubber, uh, the o-ring here back and then put the, the piston back in. And uh, we should give it a try. To clean the, the inside of the, the, the cylinder, 
I'm going to use this that uh, I bought with the first kit, but you can use some very fine uh, sandpaper and clean everything inside properly to be good. So put it in and then you can see it sitting in and then clean everything. Okay, when it's done, use some uh, uh, carburetor cleaner or uh, brake cleaner or something to clean inside. You can get a recipient or something else to gather the brake cleaner. We'll use some compressed air to blow, blow out everything that was in. This is for the first one. Well, you will have to clean it. I, I, this one I had cleaned before, that's why it's, uh, it's going so easy. Now let's take the new gasket, make sure it's clean, no uh, parts or nothing sits inside and you put it in like this. Starting from the bottom or starting from the upper side, doesn't really matter where you start from. I'm using one hand now, but you got my idea. So now it's sitting inside, nice. Clean inside. And, uh, seal it's on place. Make sure the seal is sitting properly on all the yes. I'm going to blow with some air again just to make sure I don't have anything inside. Now I found out that the easiest way to put this inside it's take it out and let's clean it a little bit we will take some silicone grease and I will put a little bit on the edge on the out, outside edge of the gasket Okay, maybe I should have just put some grease first. Don't worry about this, this put it on the edges. This will remain when you push it when you push it in, the rubber seal will take all the, the grease with it. So nothing will go in in your uh, in your brake uh, caliper in inside the cylinder take like this this is the the shoulder that has to go inside so we put it like this and so I pull it to the edge and pull it out this way. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, like this. So it's stretched and you bring it until you can feel it's right about to slide off. 
Now you have this looking like this one and you put it in easy put the shoulder inside where it's supposed to be starting from the bottom and then ending up so you can see now it's just sitting there I can wiggle it it sits pretty good and slowly don't rush it push it in until you can feel it's it's on the gasket and then slowly slowly put it in it will slide nice and easy and now and it's where it's supposed to be now to renew these ones we take them out and with the same small flat screwdriver just push them out one is done and the other one Don't worry if you damage them, you have new ones. And they're out. You take the new one, put a little bit of, of grease. And push it in. One it's in, take the second one, put a little bit of grease, and slide it in. And job done. The rest of the now you will have to clean this uh, this parts and let's take a look and see if you have any scratches or if you can reuse these ones. Yes, I could reuse these ones with no problem. We can we can easily reuse these ones? Just put a little of little bit of silicone grease on them. and slide it in and the same with the second one it's good no dents no scratches silicone grease it and put it in. So now I have a new refurbished caliber. If you want you can change also the, the nipples. I uh, I will keep these ones because they are okay and I don't need to, to change it. So that it uh, it can be done very fast in a few uh, minutes. Thanks for, for watching guys.